Today I'm showing you guys how to install the Tusk front camera kit. This is going to work with Polaris Razors model years 2019 and newer that came with Ride Command. Now if you're not sure if this is going to work on your machine, you can click the link in the description below. It's going to take you over to our website and you can type in your year make and model and verify that this is going to work for you. Now the person that's going to want this is anyone that's on tight technical trails or even rock crawling or if you just want to see what's around you when you're loading or unloading your machine. So with that being said, this is only going to take a few minutes to install. Let's go ahead and get started. To start out, we're going to remove these two hood panels. I'm using a T40 Torx bit. And we'll pop out the first panel. Then for the second panel, we just have one screw right here. You have some tabs all the way down. They're going to pop up and then we're going to pull that forward, it comes right out. Now I've brought the front section of the hood over to the bench and you can see this little indentation. That's where the camera is going to mount. Now the instructions call for a 20 millimeter hole, but we just have a three quarter inch drill bit, which is pretty close to 19 millimeters. So with that, we're going to do the final sizing with either some sandpaper or you can use some wood files or something like that to make sure that camera fits in there. Now, when I drill this, I have a block of wood that I can drill into so I don't damage my table. And we're just going in the center of that plastic ring on the back. So that's where we're at right now. I'm just gonna test fit this. So it's just a little too snug. And we'll try to take an even amount all the way around. Then looking from the backside, it's a little easier to tell around this ring. You can see we're hanging down a little low right here. So I'm gonna work on that spot. I'll just lay down that rag so I don't scratch up the top. I'll do that final cleanup with some sandpaper. Then when you mount the camera, you wanna make sure that arrow on top, that's gonna to be facing up. And we're gonna leave this just loose enough that we can make adjustments once it's on the machine. So I'll slide the cord through, get everything lined up. And we have the lock ring on the back. Got the arrow facing up. I'm just gonna snug that up for now so we can still make adjustments. And we'll do the final tightening once we have it connected. So let's head back over to the machine. Next, you're gonna be looking for a four pin connector that sits underneath the passenger side of the hood. Most of the time you're not going to need to remove this panel, but if you can't find it, you might need to loosen up some hardware. But for us, this is just hanging right here. We've got our four pin connector. It's got a cover over it. All we need to do is remove that cover. So I'm going to route these wires coming from the camera through the cutout in the front of the grill. And I'll try to keep this out of the way so I don't block your view. Then we just need to line up the tabs on these connectors, press it in until it clicks, just like that. And then I'm just gonna set this in place so it hooks in on the front and then presses down. So I'm gonna turn the key on, engine off. Hit okay, and we're gonna hit the center button, go into cameras. We're on the rear right now, so we're gonna to switch to front. You know, and something cool about this camera with it having that 170 degree range, we can see both front tires and any obstacles that we need to go over. If you need to adjust it from side to side, go ahead and do that now. And then we're gonna finish tightening down that lock ring. And with that tightened down, if you want to run an extra zip tie to secure your wiring, you can go ahead and do that. We'll set the front piece back in place. We install our screw. Install the second panel. I'm also going to peel that arrow off, wipe our fingerprints off, and we're good to go. That's it for installing the Tusk front camera for ride command on your Polaris Razor. If you need to check fitment, again, 
click the link in the description below. That's going to take you over to our website. You can type in your gear make and model and verify all of that information. And while you're there, make sure you take advantage of our free shipping on orders over $75. Now, if you want to see more helpful content like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel. I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ETVMC. Thanks for watching.